After the delights of Spain, the next port of call is Porto in Portugal. A fabulous place to visit, and Nate and I are justifiably looking forward to it. As we board the bus that will take us to the center of the city and back for seven euros. Weather amazing as usual, and Nate has his iPhone to augment my incomparable camera work. Decisions, decisions, what to ride, but we decided to walk. Maybe we should have ridden, maybe not. We're in the center of Old Porto, about to explore. The bell tower central here, beautiful architecture and great design. I like it. Nate is planning the route. Porto is the town that gave both its country and its wine their names. It's the second largest city in Portugal. It's certainly a vibrant city and full of old world charm. One great thing about European cities is the architecture. There's pride of preservation and an appreciation of former styles. We soon arrived at the Miraduro da Vitoria. A lookout point for great views over the river and city below. Clearly the River Douro is important. Up on the hill, Porto Cathedral is prominent. Below, other churches are beautiful and numerous. On seeing the river, we naturally wanted to visit the river. So we made our way down the steps to the riverside, a shortcut. And we got to see many interesting and colorful places on the way down. In case you're wondering why all the flags, the World Cup is on at the moment and Portugal are playing. We found a great shop selling wood goods and Nate actually bought a beautiful cork tray. The problem is that he left it on the bus back to the ship. We did have a chat with the owner who gave me permission to film his delightful shop. The quality of the goods was excellent. Just up the street, we found a cozy little coffee shop and decided to get a boost. Nate loves his espresso. We're still making our way down to the river, but we are getting close. The Palacio de Bolsa, the Stock Exchange Palace, is located in the historic center of the city and is a beautiful place. The statue of the great explorer, Prince Henry the Navigator, leader of great expeditions of discovery in West Africa, and born here in 1394. There's a legend that if you ask him the way to the river, he'll point it out. There's a statue of him in Belgrave Square in London, across from the Portuguese Embassy, and not only that, there's also a statue of him in the USA, 
Fall River, Massachusetts. He clearly has a great PR team. From there we walk down toward the river, passing along the way this old house, the Casa do Infante, now a museum, where Prince Henry was born. So it's over 600 years old. Nate and I had a look around. At last we reached the River Douro. The promenade with its terraced townhouses, always a popular spot to eat, get some pictures. It's hard to believe, but before the tourists took it over, this was a busy, hard-working port. Now a place of great architectural beauty and colorful. How about a boat ride? Very popular and a great way to see the harbor and get a different perspective. After that, have a drink or a snack and simply stroll around enjoying the ambience. Maybe a ferry across the Douro. I have to say, as a videographer, that this place is very photogenic, especially for video. It's a dynamic place, and the video camera portrays that feeling. It's a splendid location to sit a while, surrounded by fascinating sights. This is a historic site right here. When this was the city wall, it had 18 gates or hatches, and this is the only one surviving to this day. I'll stroll down the riverfront, the river on one side, the townhouses and alleys and balconies on the other it was the highlight of the visit. Magical, memorable. The bridge is Louis the First Bridge. Above the church and the monastery of Serra do Pila. The upper deck carries pedestrians and trams. The lower deck, vehicular traffic. So now we plan to walk across it. So we walk to the funicular railway that will take us to the top. Next time, we ride the funicular railway to the top of the bridge. Check out the sights at the top. 
interesting things to see. And then we walk over the bridge, avoiding the trams, getting the shots, on top of Porto, looking down on creation, an exhilarating point of view, breathtaking scenery, unusual aspects, what looks like two bridges, next a cable car ride, Teleferico de Gaia, five euros per head, five minute ride, down the bank of the river. This is fun, this is different, don't miss this one.